Dad. Yeah. Where are you? I'm in the office. What's up? Um. Just sorting out some quotes that I looked at today. Do you want to set up for a painting and film it so people can see what oh, goes yeah, into gonna, setting up and stuff? I was going to sort out that Planet Earth one today. Yeah. So what did you want to do? Like set up for the painting and stuff, and I'll film it so people can see like yeah yeah, yeah we can what goes that. into it um, and stuff. Here's little Steve. Let's go see how a painting gets set up, huh? I'm just finishing off these quotes that I looked at this morning and then um, we can get into it because this sort of works what puts the food on the table, son. The mover in the cooler. Hey? Eh? The mover in the cooler. It puts the mover in the cooler, yeah. <laughs> Alright then, well let's go out there and um, we'll just get set up. Where's Steve? Yeah, he is. So what do you want to do? You want to show them what goes through a setup? Yeah, like video. before you paint, getting it all set up and getting things all ready, basically. Yeah, all right. Well, first of all, I've got to set this station up. I've got to get dressed. I'll get dressed later because that, with the lighting on that, cape can be a bit hot. Let's go close these curtains, the blinds. Not the wrong way. Does that affect the lighting a lot? Yeah, you need sort of certain, well I, you use certain ambient lights and then direct light as well. Because, um, now. I've got to set the display screens. This turns out to be the display screen for the camera. And when I'm using a... Oh, what the hell is that called? A reference picture for a photo? That'll be displayed on this screen here. Steve found the fly. <laughs> See, now when I turn that on, that's a display screen that I, if I'm using for a reference picture, and this will be the lonely screen here. But, I did a, here, this is what I'm going to, I did a test yesterday, just of planet Earth, but I'm going to do it on one of my, hang on, let's move this out of the way. What are you doing, young man? Yes, yeah, so I see here, I want to do this on a... A free size canvas and just show people how to paint planet Earth. The lower the number, the bigger paper, isn't it? Like A1's big. Uh, A4 is a normal book office sheet page size, and A3 is double that. Then there's A5s and all these others. I don't get into that. Get all these waters. It's the paint flicker up. Well, that's why I'm better than brushes with feet of water off. So that's my water set up. I've normally got a bit of a checklist, camera, mic, that's not done, lighting, curtains, water. I've got to get this curtain pulled back. Look at that, they were left in there from the work here, Bruce. Close that door. I'm hoping I've got some foam. What do you need foam for? Oh, because I want to make a bigger circle than what I have for the moon. Here's a bit here, but that's not really... I need a bigger piece of foam. I had some, you know. What that? about that piece right there? It's flat. I, oh, I could probably use it. No, that one. Where? Is that? Oh, that's too big. Uh, you can probably carve a little handle out of it. 
Yeah, I think I might have to use some of this. I'll use some of this. Circle roughly about there. So what sort of something round we have? The diameter of that. That looks a bit too. That's about a decent size for Earth on that pallet size, isn't it? It's got the size of the canvas. Yeah. Yeah. See what I said? I said pallet size. It's a canvas, you dickhead. So what I'll do, I'm gonna. Cut this out. Slowly coming down there. I'll get you to make your father a coffee too. It's bloody hot. I'll get dressed later. I'll just. Okay, I've got. I'm just making sure I've got everything ready now for that picture so I've got my moon layout, I've got my earth layout, I've got my sponge and then all I need I think this is only going to use Where's what? the moon? What do you oh, mean the moon? That'll be the moon size there I've got it on a template actually Where's my template? Some, what people have got to learn is that their template cutout, sometimes the cutout they need as well to cover up that image to speckle and whatnot. So that's going to be my moon size there. Do you use that as well? That's what I just used to, to cut that out. Or so here, out. I, yeah, I, I put that on the paper there. I cut it out because that's what I need. Why are you taking your shoes off? <laughs> huh? I said, why are you taking your shoes off? Oh, I've got a paint in bare feet. And you want to know why I'm painting bare feet? Why? Well, because the way I film, all the cables and wires there, if I'm wearing my thongs or something, shoes and thongs are clumsy. I've got more... What are you doing, Steve? I've got more control in just bare feet. Come here, you, I love you. Come to Papa. I've got to put this on first before the, the coat, so the wire sits at the back. Oh, bloody. It's a mongrel of a thing, but you bloody need it. Then the little battery pack sits there. Remind me to turn that fucking thing on, all right? I'm sick of not turning it on you do so much filming and then all of a sudden you've got no sound and if you've got to narrate it it looks and sounds like pus why do you wear the undershirt under there because this is thin and when i'm rubbing my brush the paint i did it one time and paint was all over my muscular six-pack you know belly there you know because there's a <laughs> lot of muscular muscle under there and i'm going to hide it from all the viewers you see otherwise We'll be in trouble, son. I've got massive arms under here. They're huge, but you just can't see them because I've got them well hidden. <laughs> All right, I've got a... Which tie are you going with? Oh, I'm going for me Burberry. How many do you have? Four? I've got... Yeah, just four. Sometimes I might not even wear one. I might think, what the fuck? I'm not wearing a tie today. There's me. But the tie helps keep the wire in check, so long as it's still clipped to my shorts there. And what I've got to do, like before we go live, or not live, but before we go on air, I've got to put this in my pocket. This is all what goes involved in setting it up, hey, Reese. So that'll just sit in my pocket ready. I've got all my monitors turned on. Um, I'm going to wear a headband in this one. I'll have to have it <coughs> just something different, something visually different. 
kind of blocks out your back patch thing. Yeah, but I'm not having it there. I'm having it there like, like that. There you go, Eddie. Now, there, boy. Yeah, I can see you in that mirror there, boy. I can see you too. Don't you worry about that. Nah. I've got my suit on now. I need some gloves. Get some powder on my hands. Stop the sweat. Yeah, well, not so much sweat, but... And these gloves just keeps the paint off my fingers. Oh, he's coming up in the feet. This is the canvas board I made. I've got some new material. It's like a a foam. It's like a foam, two mil, three mil foam panel, and it's in between printable paper. And what I've gone and done is I, I heed, I um, glued my canvas to this. So that's my canvas board. So when I'm doing one that I've got to send that that other side I can write something on it to the person you know but I won't take that off until painting everything's done because they get all munted up yeah, and that's a protective strip when it's all finished that comes off beautiful and fucking white just the way you like it now we've got to get some tape up here what's that for ah uh, so is uh when I do the Oh, yeah, so the canvas sticks to it. Yeah, just otherwise it flops around because this board's heavy enough. You know, it's all right, but it would it would annoy the living fuck out of me if I was watching a tutorial and sometimes this little bastard bangs around like a little bitch. And if that happens all the time, it'll piss me off and I'm pretty sure it'll piss other people off as well. So I like to anchor it down a bit better. So as it's not so rattly. I just hope this new tape I bought is um, got strong adhesive to it. Then I have to lower this thing here to sew it. Get on my finger. this now but I can't put that on there yet because we've got to do the intro and the outro all right what else is there setting up wise or pretty much it all the bins are done I've got no name list for this one got this one. wheelie thing grab that yeah now we'll set that up as well so usually the camera will be See the there. wheels show the people the wheels it had hard plastic wheels so I put silicon around there so it's more of a nice smooth rubbery tire effect on the floor not like a hard plastic gong 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 wheel noise so that's our that's our cam mobile whatever you want to call it <laughs> cam mobile put the camera on it and it maneuvers maneuvers around quite easily that's pretty much it isn't it for the screens yeah that's it what we what we'll do now is we'll pretty much um we're ready to film the actual tutorial, so that's pretty much all my setting up. Everything's ready, lights, cables, bare feet, water buckets, monitors. Microphone, yep. Yeah, I'll just plug that into the camera when it's ready. All right, well, um, uh, yeah, that's about it for this setup. And um, watch the tutorial as well, I suppose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right.